Uh, it's deprogrammed. Of course, like I said, the door opened up right off the top. That's what I do. My name is Justin. I'm a full host of sorts. And I swear sometimes I can speak. Today is not one of those days. Hey, if you want to help me, this program, uh, anything that I'm doing, patreon.com slash oh hi Justin. It's the hub for everything that I'm doing right now, which includes the Russell Pals podcast. Also, as I said before, the D program podcast, you get it early there, and the Oh Hi Justin podcast, which you get a full week before the rest of the world. Uh, video content coming up soon, hopefully. Um, maybe a comic book, because that's something weird I'm talking about. Maybe a new podcast down the pike. Uh, lots of stuff. Also, These Ghouls. If you want to hear the These Ghouls demos before the rest of the world, they are there. Today, ladies and gentlemen, we're going to be talking about hole <laughs> and uh, excuse me while i laugh because the name i'm still i'm still a juvenile the, <laughs> the word hole still ma- makes me laugh today the panel we are joined by the man has many names but today he will be andy andy how are you doing i'm doing good it's uh you know have you recovered never, from I'm never too far away i guess after <laughs> the uh the <laughs> fredo sessions and everything else i was gonna say you know, i'm uh you recovering Coming pretty well? back like a seven-year itch. Yeah. <laughs> you recovering well from the uh, Fredo sessions? Yeah, 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 definitely. <laughs> it, was, yeah. it was a fun time, uh, but... It was. It was a lot in a day. <laughs> for sure. <laughs> uh, also, also, so jo- also joining us uh, for the first time since the uh, pod has been back, ladies and gentlemen, all the way from Florida, Peter Gardner. Peter, how you doing? Hi, Eric. I'm doing all right. It's hot as hell outside here, but that's Florida for you. Yep, yep, yep. This is the the first time back, man. Have you got the itch? Yeah, <laughs> I'm re- I'm ready. Uh, actually, so we'll, we'll start with you then, because you're actually the person who put hole up. You said you said I want to do hole. God, the phrasing on that is just <laughs> awful. <laughs> <laughs> but. <laughs> Uh, you, you said you wanted to talk about hole. So uh, tell me, tell me what it is about hole that uh, that got that has you amped up. How long have you been a fan? Um, since like the early '90s, uh, I think my story with them kind of goes along with most hole fans. Like Kurt Cobain married Courtney Love and introduced the world to hole, and. Kurt Cobain was the type of guy who was always like, hey, check out these other bands. Like, Mm. you know, if you like my band, listen to these guys. So I checked out Hole and I was like, this is really good. I kind of like this. Mm. And then, unfortunately, uh, Live Through This came out, I think, like a week after he killed himself. Yeah. Yep. So... It was a really. I liked it, but it was a, it was an awkward listening experience. And but I did like the songs that that I heard, and I've just stuck around with them ever since. Okay, I was going to say so. It was an awkward experience. Then uh, does that awkwardness still hold? Uh, not really. Okay. Andy, you you jumped on a couple weeks ago. I think I think you just saw that there was. Hole had only only one uh, person wanting to talk, and you kind of were like, yeah. "Yeah, let me talk about that one." Yeah, um, I don't know. I have a, a a strange affinity. Like, I don't like every I call it chick rock band or whatever mm-hmm. you know you want to call it. Like, I, you know, I I dig Veruca Salt, uh, Hole. You know, like, and granted, a lot of the '90s alternative bands with you know, females in them were pretty great to a certain, you know, like at least in their own right or with their own singles. Mm-hmm. Um, and Hole was definitely one of them. And it's, you know, um, definitely between Veruca Salt and Hole. Um, I had a couple female uh, guitar students back when I was more active with that and uh, introducing them to, to those two bands particularly uh, went over really well. So... You know why not continue to spread the love? Yeah, for uh, hey, I see Courtney what you Love there. and yeah. Courtney's <laughs> such a interesting woman. That's the um, good way to put it. Yeah, <laughs> that is a good way. Yeah, to put it. <laughs> with 
I was yeah. li- listening the to most uh, democratic yeah. way to say it. Yeah, <laughs> she is. I I used to be one of the ones who kind of I don't want to say shat on her, but uh, listening to Nobody's Daughter specifically, and and we'll get into like specifics of songs and and lyrics and whatnot. But uh, listening to Nobody's Daughter, I feel bad that I was the way I was towards Courtney. Um, you know, I, I understand some of it is brought on herself, but when you really dive into, uh, the, her, the lyrics and the, and the songs that they're doing, you can tell that she's a bit of a tortured soul, much like Kurt was. Yeah. And she's definitely not right in the head. <laughs> yeah. And she, yeah, I mean, some of it's her own and some of it's mm-hmm. everything else. She really lost it after Kurt died because uh, her bass player also died like a couple of weeks before that. Oh, so like oh, wow. when Live Through This came out and she had to do the promotional tour, she was just a mess. See, I don't think and, I don't think people give enough credence to that because that happened to uh, Billy Corgan. Um, he lost they lost their touring keyboardist and then Jimmy went to jail. Uh, like all, yeah. and I think he lost his mother. Like all right, like this was all as a door was about to come out, and when all these losses come together, like that's that's massive. Yeah, it's heavy, especially in a band setting. You know, it's it's, you know, if you're not a musician listening to this, you know, when people say that bands are family, that's really the kind of dynamic that exists. So. You have to really kind of consider the, the loss of a family member in one sense or another because um, you're, you're spending a lot of time with these people. Pete, I didn't mean to cut you off, but uh, you were saying something? Uh, I was just going to mention that, like, um, you know, when you're rolling out an album, you can't really just cancel mm. all of your promotional stuff because someone died. Like, there's, you know concerts that you're scheduled to play there's all these contracts that you've signed it's like she really didn't have any time to grieve by herself she grieved in front of all of us and i think that's i mean yeah she's an interesting person but i think that period of her life is also what shaped a lot of what many people think of when they think of courtney love they just think of her as like this crazy woman you know who just loses her shit all the time and I don't think that's fair. I don't think so either. Es- especially as I said, you know, listening to Nobody's Daughter. Now, while as a whole, hey uh, phrasing intended, <laughs> <laughs> as a whole, I didn't like Nobody's Daughter as a whole record. But in the context of their entire discography, it's kind of fantastic. Um, I I, th- I think this is a, a good point to... Because, st- okay, so... The name of the game is deprogrammed, ladies and gentlemen. We're, we're gonna we're gonna hop in yeah. here. The name of the game is deprogrammed, and uh, what we've done, the three of us have uh, taken the four albums and a B side, and we are pulling each pulling out twenty songs, and we're gonna mash them together. Andy may not have twenty; <laughs> he may have told that, uh, but we're gonna we'll mash. Find out. Yeah, <laughs> we're gonna mash them together, and we're gonna try to make a top ten starter kit to get you started in the right direction with whole. Now, I I think I want to start with Nobody's Daughter because like I said, I was kind of surprised that my brother like he got it a couple years ago and he just immediately shat all over it. And I was like, "You know what? I could get that." And I hadn't heard anything from it, and so like I didn't have I didn't have any preconceived notions going into it other than my brother didn't like it. And as I said, just a a few seconds ago if you if i listen to it on its own it's it's probably not that great but having listened to everything else that that they did it makes sense as an album that being said i think the one of the most heavy things uh that i heard i'm going with letter to god i don't know if you guys have it but i think this is an important song for you to listen to if you have any hope of getting into Courtney's head at all. I I have that one on my list. Nice. Nice. Yeah, I do not. Um, it, 
she she mentions, and this is why I said it earlier. She mentions, I think one of the line is, "I didn't I didn't mean to become the joke that I've become," um, and it's she's really she's really written a letter to God and is like, you know, why am I here? Like I don't, and hearing that is what kind of sprung all that man. Like, it, I mean, obviously it, it it brought out some sympathy from me towards her, but it also it also let me realize that she much like Kurt is a tortured soul. And I mean, she just got this unfair rap because she survived it. So letter to God is in the combo. Uh, I think what we'll do is we'll go to, we'll go to Andy and then we'll go to Peter. All right, Andy. Um, yeah. So let me go stop on my list and I'm just, you know, I started at the, start the at beginning the and, <laughs> You know, of their uh, their discography with the first album, which um, you know between that one and, and Celebrity Skin, like there's still there's a very um, has a similar vibe and feel. Mm-hmm. But like what I really enjoyed about the first album is is it's just very raw, and it's just such like Garage Band. That's right. That's it's right, like, baby. It just it works and it's like perfect in that, in that sense of like what it was in the nineties and everything else. And, uh, you know, starting out with teenage whore, like, I mean, that's, yep. you know, um, <laughs> you know, yes, that's, that's the, you know, <laughs> it's, it's, you know, it's right it's on whole. point. <laughs> it's whole. Absolutely. Yeah. Pete, yeah. Peter, you got it. Yeah. I've got that one. Yeah. When I was a teenage, she she clearly had a messed up childhood. Absolutely. Like Oh, for sure. Yeah. You, you don't think about like the kind of toll that takes on a little girl. But uh I think we'll get into more of that later too. I'm sure we will. Uh Peter, it is your turn. Um I'm going to go from the top of my list and I'm gonna go with what I think is their signature song and I'm gonna say Violet. Oh yeah. Oh yeah, yeah, that's on my list. Yep, mm-hmm. there. I don't even care about Hole if I never heard Violet. Like, I mean, that's just the reality of it. I we wouldn't be doing this if Violet didn't exist. <laughs> You're right. Like, it's that's the signature. It's weird that you know Doll Parts is the one that you still hear because to me Violet is what they sound like. Yeah. Yeah. All right. <clears throat> wow, three songs, two all the way in. And one is in the combo. So far, so good, gents. Mm-hmm. All right. Um, mm, 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 mm. This one I was actually just listening to before we started, and uh, it officially became number 20 because I was down to 21 30 minutes ago, 40 minutes ago. So I had mm-hmm. to boot one in favor of this song. And it's uh, the B side that that Peter threw in late. Retard girl. Yeah, I had that. That was uh, obviously <laughs> yes. <laughs> yeah, I don't. It's yeah. it's uh again again with the thread of uh, being tortured. She, it's a song. Uh, I don't know if it's it. I take it as autobiographical. Oh, geez, that was a cluster f <laughs> yeah that was, <laughs> that was i i think that it's word. about her getting bullied and uh i mean that's the way it came off to me regardless it is a song about a girl getting bullied and being called a retard and it's it's intense um andy yeah all right um so that um good sister bad sister yep you know uh, just yeah <laughs> I don't know, like, it's, it's, I mean, the songs, you know, um, there's just good songs on a great raw record, mm. which is the first album, so I, you know. Good you know, sister, bad sister. Much more than a, t- a title is not needed, I guess. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. Uh, I got it. I have it, too. Wowzers. There we go. Yeah. This is going to be a short episode. Yeah. I mean, I. Yeah. you know, I'm not worried about it. I, I, I I said, Hole is really agreeable if you like '90s music at all. Like, it, it, there's you'll have no yeah. time diving in. 
Uh, Peter. It's just an interesting group. Um, I'm going to jump ahead a few albums, and I'm going to throw out a song that, to me, sounds really emotional. And it's another one where she's clearly just bearing her soul. And that's on Celebrity Skin, and the song is Northern Star. Uh, yeah. I oh, have good. It. I don't. But let's see. Dun, 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 dun. Let me scroll that over. But it's still around for the combo. I don't have that one. Celebrity Skin's, uh, you know what? I'll save it because I'm going to follow your thread here, Peter. And I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to toss out the other softball. Celebrity skin. Yeah. Got it. Yeah. 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 Yep. It's mm-hmm. that album is arguably their best. Now, I mean, it depends on what you're looking for, because to me, I liked yeah. it because it has that. It's really polished. It's very Hollywood, and when done right, that sound is amazing, and it just it pops. It it hits you right in the eardrum in the right way. Now, that being said, I do love the griminess of uh, the first two records, but something right. about the way celebrity skin pops, it just, it hits me in all the right places. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Uh, well, th- it's, just, it's just put together well. Yeah. Um, Cause you still captured the rawness of whole, but like with the production, like it's just, yeah, it's polished just yeah. right. I think they really have a knack for, for, choosing the right songs to open an album mm-hmm. yep <laughs> yeah <laughs> yep because i mean that's the way that's the way you, you're greeted and it's like yeah you know what yeah you're right here yeah <laughs> uh let's see so i played celebrity skin all right andy you're up all right uh let's see um star belly i think that made my initial cut Got pulled down. I don't have that one. Oh, okay. First miss. Mm-hmm. Interesting. Yeah. Let's see, you're still. I think that's falls to that uh, category we were talking about earlier, Andy, about not wanting to pull a whole, whole record. Man, <laughs> yeah, <that's>... exactly. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> All right, uh, Peter. Um. Uh, I'm going to go back to live through this and I'm going to, I'm going to make a case for softer, softest. Yeah, I have it. Oh, I don't have it. Do you want to, um, cause you said you wanted to make a case. Do you want to, well, you know what? It's in the conversation. We'll wait until the second round. Okay. <laughs> um, <laughs> where do I want to go? Dun, 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 dun. Uh, Like we're doing really well on that. We're doing really well on that. You know, this one jumped out at me initially as well. Um, Miss World from Live Through This. I made I my bed. I lie in it. Uh, Miss World. You got it, Peter. I I love it, but didn't make my final oh, cut. Ooh, he misses. All right. Mm-hmm. All right, Andy. Um, so, uh, let's see. I want to say doll parts. I mean, that's that was, you know, most of our probably introduction. I think the whole, like, that was the first song that we discovered Courtney with, if I remember correctly. Well, for me, it was uh, Violet on Beavis and Butthead, but... <laughs> <laughs> uh, yeah, <laughs> I don't have doll parts. I have doll parts. All right, so it sticks around. Okay. Yeah. Gentlemen, we are doing splendidly here. Four are in, five are in the combo, and we've only had two misses. That's got to be some sort of record. <laughs> yeah. All right, Peter. So do we have five in? We have four in, five for the combo. Four in. Okay. Okay. All right. Yeah. Wow. <laughs> yeah. Right. <laughs> Halfway there. Yeah. Uh, I'm gonna throw another softball and say Malibu. Oh man, I don't yeah. have it. I mean, it's you're right though. I good, love it. It's it's lighter, but it's it's still a well put together song. It's it's a good 
thing, a good song you would expect from a group from that area. Well, yeah, and it, they went they went very Hollywood, very California with that record, and it's yeah. it mm-hmm. it suits them. It they did it really, really well. Like I said before, like if it can if if it's done well, then I will buy it. And I bought all of Celebrity Skin. Yeah. All right. Now, now we're playing with fire because I feel like <laughs> all the real softballs are out of the way, and now it's all going to basically be preference. So that being said, yeah, I'm going to trot another one out from Nobody's Daughter because, like I said, there's a couple that I feel like mm. either either fit the uh, fit the whole narrative or they they just stuck out enough that I was like, you know what? These need to at least be brought up. I'm going with skinny little bitch. Yeah. Yeah. I have that one. Oh, mm-hmm. and it's, he shoots, he yeah. scores. I didn't yeah. see that one I mean, coming. That, that, that's a whole song. Like, Absolutely. Through and through. Yep. Yep. But the, the, those were the only two songs I had from nobody's daughter and they both got through. Yeah, I've only got one other. So <laughs> uh, nobody's daughter is, it's a good record. Um, I don't recommend li- listening to it o- on its own. I know that sounds ridiculous, but take in the rest of their discography first. Now, it's it's different from the rest of the discography, but it makes sense yeah, if you listen to everything definitely. else. Mm-hmm. All right. Yeah, uh, it definitely is a, a context record. Yeah, absolutely. It it just shows you, because I mean, it, uh, let's see. Celebrity Skin was what, 99? And... So somewhere in there, yeah. Nobody's daughter, I want to say, was like 2010 or something. It's pretty late. Yeah, it's like 2010, 2012, somewhere in there. Yeah, so I mean, it was like yeah. way later, and uh, you know, she had some growing up to do. All right, yeah, Andy. Yeah. Um. So staying California and and Hollywood and whatnot. Um, PCH or Pacific Coast Highway um, was just a good a good jam. Like not really like a jam in like that sense, but like it was a good. You could drive to that song and just enjoy the music and the road, you know. Yeah, and that's what PCH is. <laughs> I don't have it. I don't have it either. Oh. Well, we're at the yeah. point. Maybe where... maybe listen to it in the car. <laughs> <laughs> that's not a bad idea. <laughs> it must just not have been a very good walking song. Now I'll say this: yeah, yeah. like we are definitely at the point because we're halfway there. Where misses are really not that big of a deal, I mean, unless oh, unless yeah. there's something that you really, <laughs> really feel like we're wrong about. But I mean, so far, yeah. man, five through six in the combo. All right, Peter. Um, I'm gonna throw out asking for it. Dun, 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 dun. Uh, I think no, that, no, that must have been on my. Uh, that must Damn. Have been, yeah, that must have <laughs> been on my initial. Uh, it might have made my initial cut because I thought I had it. I'm looking at it. I don't. Uh, before we move on, quick Absolutely. fun fact um, about asking for it. There's a version where uh, Kurt Cobain has backing vocals on it. Huh. That's, I could imagine that being a thing, like yeah. when it yeah. first came out. <laughs> like that. Um. I mean, you can easily find it on YouTube, but it's just interesting. I mean, I, I, I can tell why they ultimately left him out because, you yeah. know, he's a huge presence, but also it, it kind of didn't really fit the song either. Right. Mm-hmm. All right. Uh, I'm going to toss this one out here because this one, I hate to use the word, but it hit me so well. It hit so hard. Mm-mm. No. No. no? Okay. Yeah. 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 All right, Andy. Uh, gutless. I feel like. Nope. Uh uh-uh. uh. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. All right, Peter. Um, playing your song. Yep. Yes. Mm-hmm. Oh. <laughs> a series of all of us missing them. Oh yeah, that one. <laughs> <laughs> well, you know, just you, you got to trot them out, and you never know. Yeah, that one, that one hit yeah. hit really well with me. So now I have to really start morphing what how, the how I play. Um. Yeah, let's go. Let's go with this one. 
um, I love the way this started and, and actually ended. She, uh, she starts singing and playing guitar and goes, ha, oops. When I went, oh, oops. And then huh. starts playing in the opening line. When I went to school at Olympia, uh, rock star. I've got that one. Yeah. I, I, don't. I love that song. But I remember that song now. That was, yeah, I was, I was mixed on it because I was thinking back to um, the Beatles and it's on, was it like Anthology 3 or something like that where there's like a, um, <clears throat> was it George or whatever playing uh, the Mother Superior jumped up? Oh, shit. Wrong, <laughs> you know, wrong chord. And it's like that little outtake thing. And uh, it just, it called back to that and I wasn't sure how I felt. Oh, okay. Well, I, I like at the, yeah. somewhere t- somewhere towards the end, like the band stops and you hear Courtney go, no, we're not done. <laughs> and then the band comes yeah. back in. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> I love that. And it, it, I mean, it's it's kind of funny, like everyone looks the same. Back in Olympia, everyone looked the same, but you know, I'm going to make it. I, I just, I like yeah. the, uh, I like that. All right, Andrew. All right. Um, full name. Yeah, I think <laughs> Northern Star is the last one on my list here. Yeah. Oh, wait, no, I have one other one. So Northern Star, and then I have one more after that. Well, uh, so. Peter played Northern Star earlier, didn't he? Yes. Yeah. I have it over in the convo. Oh, I did? Oh. Yeah. Oh, okay. So not that song then. Yeah. Um, <laughs> <laughs> but it's still in the conversation, so that's good. Mm-hmm. How about uh, Never Go Hungry, the bonus track? Dun, 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 dun. I don't have it. Mm, I don't have it. Okay. There it is. I see it. All right. Peter? So ne- Wait, so Andy, that's your 15? Yeah. So that So you can either jump on one of these to put it in the combo, or you can round it out to make it three if it hits both of us yeah mm-hmm. uh, all right okay. peter yeah um plump dun, 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 dun. i don't have it i don't have it a lot of these were it was like difficult to cut because i loved the song but i was like i can't i can't bring all of live through this yeah <laughs> yeah he's <exactly. laughs> And I, I I had that with almost every record, just just to put that on uh, put that on wax. I had that with every record at some point. Um, all right. Well, let's go back to the beginning. How about Garbage Man? Uh, no. All right. All right, Peter. Um. Okay, we're, since we're at the beginning, I've got. Barry on my list. Uh, nope. Damn. I know, right? <laughs> <laughs> that one definitely made my initial cut. Uh, let's see. Let's see. Scroll this up. How about? How about Boys on the Radio? Uh, that was on my first <laughs> list, but didn't make the final cut. Let's see, this is this is where we're in the nitty gritty. I still somehow have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven left. It's crazy. All right, uh, Peter. Um, awful. Yeah, I got it. Okay. All right. Do you want to use one of yours, Andy, to to push it through, or um, check it right now? Okay. Yeah, that's a good one. That's a good song. There yeah. we go. I mean, it's more the ca- that California. So, yeah, it is. But you know, it's still again like those songs. Like, it's so weird because you listen to the first two records and you have that rawness and that garage band thing. The grunge. And then you the... get the celebrity skin, and it's it throws you off because it's so polished. They went from first. Washington to California. I mean, you know, that's literally yeah. the de- that's literally what they did. Uh, it, <laughs> yeah. It it sounds like a grunge Fleetwood Mac re- record. I yeah. think. <laughs> I got you. Yeah. <laughs> I got you. You know, I mean, you just figure like the, um, uh, you know, from a recording point and everything else, like, you know, now you're, it's 98, like Pro Tools and digital and stuff is, is slowly becoming a thing and mm-hmm. helping that sense. So, like, you're able to do more. 
Well, shoot. Too, so like, S- something we haven't yeah. mentioned at all. Uh, Celebrity Skin, Billy Corgan helped write, I don't know how much of it, but I know for a fact he did. <laughs> oh, yeah. Yeah. Um, at, that's why actually, at, at, you know, it, uh, this is a good time for it. Uh, at the the Pumpkins had their big 30th um, anniversary show recently. It yeah. was like this big three-hour affair, which, by the way, Peter, the uh, whole concert is up on YouTube. Um, I'm thinking about watching Ooh. it. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> that sounds uh, bookmark-worthy. Yeah. Well, so they, they brought out Chino from the Deftones, and they did Bodies. And then they brought out Sugar Ray, and they did, uh, or Mark McGrath, and they did Fly. And they brought out Courtney Love at one uh-huh. point. And, you know, the the video I've seen of it, she didn't look to be in very good condition. But uh, they... as yeah, it comes and goes. Yeah. yeah. I'm almost 100% positive they played Celebrity Skin. They, they played mm-hmm. Celebrity Skin and, and Malibu. Yeah, see? And then she stuck around and sang Bullet with Butterfly Wings oh, also. Right. See, and that just sounds fun to me. I, I, I don't yeah. I don't want to get on a pumpkins tangent here, but like it's a really good time to be a pumpkins fan if you ask me because this is the happiest yeah. <laughs> they've ever been as a band, and the if you're a Smashing Pumpkins fan, they're they're not a happy band. Like this is it's insane. Like they're no. <laughs> they're partying and enjoying themselves. It's insane. <laughs> yeah. Um. All right. Let's get back to the game. I'm sorry. I I took that side street, but I it, it was there for the taking. Um. Yeah. It's it's related. Yeah. It's on topic. All right. Uh, I've been looking at this one and been wanting to play it for a while. So Jennifer's body. <laughs> I have that. Yeah. Push that one over. All right, Peter. Uh, what haven't I haven't used yet? Uh, beautiful sun. Mm-mm-mm. Nope, I don't have it. It's funny these last couple. Or we're just going to completely miss each other. <laughs> <laughs> um, I'm going to. How about I think that I would die? Mm, don't have it. Okay. Now, before we move on, I, I actually took some notes uh, on some of these songs, and I just wanted to put this out here since it's not going to make it. Uh, there's a line um, where the song breaks down. She lost all her innocence. She says, I'm not a feminist. It's not yours. Fuck you. I I don't know what it was about like when I heard it, but it hit me so hard, one. like right in the face. And I was like, oh my God, I need this song. So I, I just want to make sure that if you are the collecting type and you're collecting all these songs in a playlist, make sure I think that I would die is on your list. All right, Peter. Um, how about... Credit in the straight world. <laughs> nope. Like I said, Damn. we're just going to swing and miss. I think yeah. it's fine, though. I, it's, I think we have like six or seven through. So um, dun, 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 let's just slide that over. And just to make it official. Yeah, just to make it official. Uh, I've got She Walks On Me. Uh, I don't have that one. Between the three of us, we had the entirety of Live Through This. <laughs> yeah. so just to put that out there all right peter i've got three left uh i've got two okay um seems about right pedals yep i got it oh um, yeah uh, check it That's, check, um, check it celebrity skin skin yeah the last track they do openings and closings really well. And that's mm-hmm. important in a band for me. Dun, 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 dun. Mm. It's, it just doesn't stand out quite enough for me. So okay, just so leave it in the combo. Yeah, we'll just leave it there for yeah. you. All right. And yeah. then good song, but yeah. yeah. Um, I'll throw my last one from nobody's daughter out there, even though I know it's going to miss Samantha. Yeah, I don't have that one. Yeah. All right. And you've got one left then, Peter? Uh yeah. Um have we has anybody brought up uh dying yet? Nope. And I don't have it. All right. 
and then just to clear clear out the chamber um i had loaded as well was my last song off of uh pretty on the inside mm-hmm. all right empty this out archive that list archive this list let's see where we're at so all the way in yeah. teenage whore good sister bad mm-hmm. sister awful celebrity skin playing your song skinny little bitch and violet that's a strong seven so yeah that is a wow. strong strong seven all right so yeah. in the convo uh letter to god retard girl petals northern star malibu rock star jennifer's body softer softest doll parts um i tell you the the bottom of the pile here for me are Petals, Northern Star, and Malibu, just because we already have three from Celebrity Skin through. Sure. Well, you know. I mean, it doesn't have to be that way. It's, it's, yeah, because it's again, it's it's four records. Yeah. You know. it's, yeah. It's a. I don't know. Well. Um, do we have any? Yeah. Do we have any that we feel like? At this point, half like I don't know. I I feel like I I want to stand up for Letter to God just because it's in it, looking at where Courtney was even now. What six years ago? Um, mm-hmm. just kind of again watching the the envelope, the other end of the envelope. Her trying to make amends and like just wondering how the hell did I get here? I think. I think it's a pretty important song to the band. Even though it isn't necessarily on brand. Mm. I also kind of, I kind of feel, um, feel some kind of way about retard girl. Cause, uh, that song rules, (laughs) 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 but we need to get three, three out of these. Are there, are there any that we feel like, uh, don't belong then? Let's let's start there. Uh, Letter to God, Retard Girl, Petals, Northern Star, Malibu, Rock Star, Jennifer, Jennifer's Body, Softer Softest, Doll Parts. I mean, need to listen to Jennifer's Body again. Just okay. This was one that wasn't on my list. I feel like with the last three, I don't think we're taking both Malibu and Doll Parts. I feel like. One or the other. One or the other. Mm-hmm. Hmm. I mean, Malibu has that obvious, uh, obvious California sound. And Doll Parts mm-hmm. has the like, is, acoustic stripped down sound. Yeah, but it gets heavy the, at the like, end, right? Oh yeah. Mom? She really wants you. Yeah. <laughs> Do you know? I mean, I would say Doll Parts is the stronger choice between those two for sure. All right, so anybody against dropping Malibu at this point? Uh, I mean, as much as I like it, I don't see, I don't have any other further complaints against it in that sense of it going away. Give it what, I mean, again, we have an incredible seven already. Yeah. (laughs) Yeah, I I mean, if it's down between those two, I would lean towards doll parts and... I know we shouldn't consider the music video as a factor, but the music video for Doll Parts is clearly about her trying to figure out what the hell to do with her life after Kurt Cobain because, you know, it's got that little boy with blonde hair, Mm -hmm. like, walking out of the room. And, I don't know, It to me it makes it more powerful when she's singing, um, Someday You Will Feel the... uh, what is it? The pain that I feel, or mm-hmm. someday, you will, oh, someday yeah, you will. Someday yeah, yeah, you will ache like a, ache like I ache. ache like I ache. Yeah. 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 Someday mm-hmm. you yeah, will ache like I ache. Yeah. Oh man, that's good. <laughs> yeah. God. Oh, you don't realize the power of her lyrics, like until you really get into it like this, and that's you know, it's like yeah. wow. <laughs> Again, that's kind of why I'm going to bat for letter to God here. Um. All right, so 
we lose Malibu. Right. I'll move doll, doll parts, parts up to the top. Mm-hmm. Actually, we'll pop. Uh, okay, I got you. We'll, uh, I would say just put it in. Yeah, let's pop it through. And, pop it through. Yeah. So we got two, two slots uh, left. Two left. Like, um, what, six on the combo? Two, three, two holes to fill? Seven, five, six, seven, eight. Yeah. <laughs> With <laughs> se- seven songs, two, <laughs> seven songs two, two slots. Are you playing La Schlotch? Um, so we need to lose five. Uh, I mean, da, 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 now we're starting to lose the weight of, you know, which album. I still see Retard Girl sitting here. Um, dun, 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 dun. I mean, at this point, I'm willing to lose pedals because it's getting uh, no love as far as somebody wanting to go to... Uh, okay, how about this? I'm going to read the list, and then each of you p- tell me which one you would go to bat for. Letter to God, Retard Girl, Petals, Northern Star, Rock Star, Jennifer's Body, Softer Softest. Mm. Which one would you take to bat with you? You have one chance. I I'm gonna go with Retard Girl. All right. It's that song is just like you said, it's just awesome. Yeah. <laughs> All right, Andy. Mm. Oh, God, you know, like several were on you know on my list, so it wasn't like in the sense, oh, just that one was mine. <laughs> yeah, right. <laughs> you know? Um, God, like, like Northern Stars were really good, and mm-hmm. like, ah, uh, softer. Uh, mm. Um, let's see. Maybe letter to God, you know. Oh. Um, All right. I mean, because it's a nobody's daughter song. It's you know, it's kind of the the reconnection and the aftermath of 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 everything. So it's it's a a unique snapshot of this band too when you really consider things yeah um and i i think it's a good like i said envelope so it's like the other end of it so uh, yeah to me um retard girl and letter to god were the two that got the love so to me those are the two if i mean unless anybody has any objections mm-hmm. those are the two i'm okay with that uh, all right let me slide it through, and let's run this down. Teenage whore, good sister, bad sister, awful, celebrity skin, playing your song, skinny little bitch, letter to God, doll parts, and Violet and retard girl. Mm-hmm. Yeah. And it has, I'm going to, when I put the playlist together, I'm making letter to God the last song, just because I think that's kind mm-hmm. of the perfect yeah. way to kind of wrap it. But uh, gentlemen, that's our ten. I, that, I, I'm saying it's. I to me that's spot on. It's got the hits, so it's got the familiarity, but it also gives you a little of where they started, and a little of where where they ended. Yeah. So, I don't know. That's, yeah, that, yeah, that's a solid. That's a solid mix. I think. Yeah, and, and mm-hmm. like like I said, there was a good yeah depth of of you know what they've done too musically. Yep. Like you have like the, the acoustic stuff, you know, with like doll parts and that kind of stuff. And then you have the, the raw early stuff, you know, the polished, you know, California stuff. It, it's all there. Yep. You know, got a little everything and I, I feel really good about it, gentlemen. And we managed to stretch it out somehow to uh 40 something minutes here. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah. Oh, yeah. <laughs> but you know there's plenty of conversations that are had outside of the music just about Courtney and everything else and you know Courtney's just again it's, she's just that that presence that the charismatic uh woman and you know whether 
you know, was the the 90s when everybody was, uh, you know, attracted to her and everything else and all that. And like she did People vs. Larry Flint and I was, you know, big for her, just everything else. She's just kind of that presence that like uh, draws people in. Mm Mm-hmm. All right, so I don't like the looks of this, uh, what's going on on my uh, my gimmick. So with that being said, we're going to wrap her up. Let me uh, go down this list one last time. Teenage whore, good sister, bad sister, awful, celebrity skin, playing your song, skinny little bitch, doll parts, violet, retard girl, letter to God. And as my wife said, these are all awful uh, song titles, but it's... <laughs> <laughs> to <a> degree... <laughs> But the lyrics, but it's right on point. Are it, fire, yeah, it is. Yeah. It, it is right on point, uh, gentlemen. I appreciate the time, and uh, if you're listening to this, um, please consider pledging to the Patreon. One dollar a month helps me out greatly. With all that being said, whole learn them and love them, people. We will talk to you next week. Goodbye.